I'm Melissa Thurvin, your neighborhood news reporter in Alice. Parents send their children to school to learn, but school officials say some students aren't learning due to the obstacles overshadowing them in the classroom. And we don't want any reason for the student not to be academically successful. That's Dr. Alma Garcia, the executive director for federal programs. She says over the years, she's seen students and their families struggle with basic needs. Right now, more than 4,000 students are enrolled with the district. Nearly 150 of them are considered homeless. Those struggles sometimes lead to students missing school. And if we can prevent some of these barriers and intervene with some of these students to make sure that they feel safe and are at school, well, that is our goal. We want all our students to do well in school and to go beyond high school. That's where the district's Coyote Corner and the Coyote Food Pantry comes in. Students in need can turn to these resources for new clothes, food, hygiene products, and more. These resources were made possible thanks to federal grants and community support. Everyone deserves a lot of dignity. And, um, and then plus, these are kids, and they deserve to live a normal kid life, and that includes going to school. David Canales is the district's family support liaison and an alumni. He says when he was in school, he didn't realize the need. Now, as an employee and an adult, he sees how much of an impact it can leave on students. He hopes these resources will ease some of their worries. School leaders say information about who uses Coyote Corner and the district's food pantry are confidential. I'm Melissa Thurvinia, your neighborhood news reporter in Alice for Crest 6 News. Now.